Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to go over the top five greatest guns that I reviewed this year. Now I suppose I should sort of define what I mean by greatest because it's not my favorite um, per se. It's not the most popular or most viewed per se. It's sort of a combination of all of those as well as innovation as well as really what um, the market or the audience if you will really reacted to. Sort of a combination of all that. However uh, that said these video these guns I should say are all awesome like every one of them I recommend just like I uh, will have talked about in my videos so in order to be eligible for this video the guns have had to be reviewed within the past calendar year so back to January 1 2014 if you're asking why a gun you've seen here on the channel before uh, isn't in the video uh, by all means it's probably because it was reviewed before that now there's a ton of guns that you guys have seen here on the channel that aren't eligible yet if they don't have a feature review up until this point, then they're not going to be eligible. So um, some of the guns you've seen in ammo testing or gear testing that don't have a feature review uh, just weren't considered just to sort of try to keep it all equal here. So I should also point out that if you guys are wondering or want any more information than the brief overview that I'll touch on here, um, check out the video links. I will link all of these videos with clickable links uh, in this video. So. I suppose without further ado, we'll get on to it. Uh, no particular order at all here. Uh, just top five, uh, again, with the criteria that I listed earlier. So uh, first off, I suppose we'll start out with the uh, Glock 41. Glock 41 here, this one is obviously 13 plus one capacity, long slide version of the Glock 21, sort of if the Glock 21 and Glock 34 had a baby, this would be it. Now uh, it's extremely soft shooting gun, uh, accurate, reliable, everything you'd expect, and it's sending those uh, 45 slugs downrange um, in a hurry. So just a simply awesome gun. I really like it. This gun here actually would probably be my uh, bedside gun if it wasn't for my wife being in the house uh, and her uh, potentially having to use them. Um, her hands just aren't quite big enough for this gun, even with no back straps on there to shoot comfortably, but I really like it. Um, just simply an awesome gun. It's never out of malfunction, and uh, it's got all the features that you like about Glock, or hate about Glock, for those of you guys that hate Glocks. Now, in terms of this, I also considered heavily the Larry Vickers version of the Glock 17. Um, simply, again, an awesome gun. Uh, maybe if I could have one Glock to go into a gunfight, if you will, this very well may be it. It's just uh, awesome, as I talked about in that review. However, um, the interest, really, the reason I decided to go with the Glock 41 over this gun is the Glock 41 has got way more interest. Obviously, this one right here came out just after SHOT, uh, SHOT Show this year, so it really took the market by storm. It was a huge seller for Glock this year. They learned their lesson. It looks like next year they're coming out with a long slide 10 millimeter gun, so... Uh, very likely you guys will see that here on the channel in uh, 2015. So if they do anyway, I will most certainly have one because I'm a fan of the Glock 20. And when they come out with the 10 millimeter version, I'm probably going to be a fan of it as well. Next up, we'll go over to a rifle. Now this is going to look completely different than when you guys saw it in the feature review. This here is the Zastava and PAP rifle. Um, I did, really thought about going with OPAP and I looked at the history of my reviews and saw that I actually reviewed the OPAP in 2013, so the NPAP was the next logical choice. Uh, the OPAPs aren't really coming in anymore uh, because they've ran out of the parts, um, but the NPAPs are still coming in. And actually, I just posted a link over on my Facebook page for these for five or uh, $4.99 shipped. I posted that link yesterday. So they're also coming in at an excellent price point. This one here, as you can see, has been modified greatly uh, since you saw the feature review. I guess we'll just go down uh, muzzle to the butt stock. Krebs four prong flash suppressor, which you guys have seen the review of. Primary arms, their advanced micro dot here. This thing's got a 50,000 uh, hour battery life. So like years of battery life. It's been awesome. Uh, zero issues to date with it. Uh, we got the BCM key mod grip. The Midwest Industries key mod forend, um, as well as here we have the Canis uh, stock adapter for your M4 style stocks and the BCM um, stock that we have on there, as well as just your standard uh, mil spec adapter or, or buffer tube, I should say. Excuse me. All of those things, uh, the ones I haven't reviewed anyway, will be coming in feature reviews themselves and gear reviews in 2015, so you guys can stay tuned for that. But this rifle, um, when I reviewed it, which is funny now to look back on, there were not a lot of accessories available for it. Um, that has completely changed, as you can see by the gun I just showed you. Uh, there's tons of accessories out there for it now. It's still not going to be as many as your standard, like a Wasser or uh, your Bulgarian SLR rifles, which take the standard AKM parts. But... The market's getting big, and uh, a lot of folks are jumping into the accessory market for them. So 
excellent value guns. This gun's been 100% reliable, just as you'd expect from an AK. And uh, the fit and finish are awesome. Better than a lot of really $1,000 AKs out there, in my opinion. So, great gun. Uh, so that's number two, I guess, on the list, we'll call it. Uh, next up, we will go with a gun that is sort of trickling out there. Um, the second batch, from what I understand, just went out like about a week before I'm making this video. So uh, mid-January, the second batch went out from Century. This is the Canik TP9SA. I debated going with the HK VP9 on this, and honestly, they're very similar guns in a lot of ways. Excellent triggers, excellent ergonomics, slightly high bore access, according to this guy. Um, but otherwise, just phenomenal guns. This gun here, obviously, is coming in at a great price point. A lot of places are selling it $350 and under. And when I did my review, I think I was the second review of any major gun channel to put it out. So really, there wasn't a lot of information on it. Um, so what has happened since then is that there's shoot, there's probably at least 10 very high quality reviews of this gun out there and every single one of them is reporting pretty much what i reported to you it's an accurate reliable durable gun um so for the price point guys this is an excellent gun the vp9 is a great gun too again i really kind of debated but really with the price point that this gun's come to market at and sort of the splash it's made into the polymer gun market I went with this one over the VP9, although again, the VP9 is a great gun. I just think this gun, with the price point and the quality of the gun, really changed a lot of things. And you're gonna see, or you are seeing, I should say, a lot of quality polymer guns now coming to market under $400. And that, in my opinion, is directly attributable to this gun and its predecessor, the TP9. Um, I think they showed that they could bring a gun to market like this, at this price point, this quality point, and a lot of manufacturers went, oh crap. We better do something to compete with that. So they're trying to do that, which is awesome for uh, us gun buyers out there. That's that's a great thing. So TT9 SA, number three on the uh, Great Guns Reviewed this year list for sure. Awesome, awesome gun. You guys will continue to see this on the channel without question. Fourth gun we'll talk about here. This one here is our Arsenal SLR 104FR. This gun, uh, standard AK-74M uh, style rifle, um, been 100% reliable, shoots a cartridge that I love, which is 5.45 by 39. Unfortunately, this year, we saw the most common form of that cartridge, the 7 and 6 ammo, be banned. Um, that's a whole other video. Not happy about it, as you can imagine. But it's still out there as of right now anyway, and the commercial ammo is coming in for it. But the AK-74s, great guns in my opinion, probably my favorite battle uh, carbine type rifles. Um, accurate, durable, reliable. Um, really everything you want out of it. And the Bulgarian, uh, Bulgarian version, I should say, of it is simply excellent. Every bit as good in terms of quality as what you'd expect from your Arsenal SGL-31. Um, honestly, it's a little better in terms of finish, and there's other subtle differences as well, but comparable without question. Uh, unfortunately, we also lost the SGL-31s. Uh, those are not coming in the country anymore. We're also banned. Um, so right now, if you're looking for a full-length uh, 74 variant, um, this is one I'd like to take a hard look at. They're just awesome rifles. And uh, I said it in my review, and I'll say it again. They're great rifles. Uh, you guys will be seeing these again in the future. You'll also see a couple videos in the near future on the uh, 104UR. Um, I did pick one of those up after uh, about nine months of sitting on the fence. I picked up over at Atlantic. And uh, you guys are going to see that one in a couple of videos here, probably in the next couple months, actually. So awesome gun. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I guess that's number four. And number five, the CZ SP01 Shadow Target. I just recently put the video of this up. I think this is my most recent review of the guns we featured here today. Um, if you've never fired one of these, I cannot recommend that you go out and try one enough unless you don't want to spend $1,200 because you'll probably want one really bad, which again, those of you guys didn't watch a review of this, uh, this gun came in as a T&E gun uh, from a CZ to me. Um, and as you can see, it's still here. I just pulled that out of my safe because I sent them a check because there's no way I was letting this gun go away. It's simply um, a joy to shoot. One of the most underrated, um, pistols out there. Uh, it comes to market relatively expensive, like I said, twelve to $1,300. But reliability, durability, accuracy, shootability, fit and finish, uh, just every bell and whistle that you'd want on a gun that you're going to be able to send a lot of rounds downrange with fast, uh, it's got it. 
I mean, it's just got everything. It's a super gun. And now I debated in this same price range, a gun that's gotten more popularity and made a bigger splash on the market, if you will, this year. I debated going with this gun here, which is our Wilson Combat uh, Beretta 92A1. However, the reason I didn't go with this is just the category that we're talking about here in this video. This gun is not a gun that's offered by Wilson from the factory. They do offer, now I believe it's, they call it the Brigadier Tactical, which is awesome. I would love to get one of those from Wilson as a factory option, but unfortunately this gun, as you see it right now, well, not unfortunately, uh, I didn't consider it in this category because it's not a factory option available. So uh, really what I reviewed was the upgrade package that Wilson did. So I kind of, for that reason, left this sucker out, but I know it gets an honorable mention. Um, in terms of guns in that price range that are simply awesome. Now, hopefully one of these days, hopefully in 2015, you guys will see the Wilson Combat uh, factory version of this gun come out, and uh, we'll show you that one, and hopefully it's as good as this. I, I don't know. I haven't shot one yet or even handled one. So um, hopefully you guys will see that coming in the future. But for now, the number five pick went to the CZ uh, SP-01 Shadow Target, which Again, guys, I've said it in a few CZ reviews I've done before here on the channel, but CZs, I think, is probably the most underrated brand in America. By American shooters, obviously, overseas, these are much more popular than they are here. Um, if you guys haven't seen one of these or handled one of these or shot one of these, highly, highly recommend it. Even in, not just this one, if the SP-01 or even one of the 75 series guns. Um, if, you, if they have one in your gun shop, ask them to... Uh, uh, take it out of the counter and at least handle it. You guys can see the quality of these guns. They're phenomenal. And like I said, highly, highly underrated. This is sort of the apex of that lineup. But even the uh, standard SP-01s, which we've reviewed here, are phenomenal guns. So that's number five. Believe me, I think I have over... I want to say like 230 videos that I put out this year. So going through these and picking was extraordinarily hard as I showed you a couple of things I really debated between here today. Um, so it was hard. <laughs> I wanted to pick, I wanted to do 10 or 15, which I guess I could, it would just be a longer video. Um, but really lots and lots of great guns. I know I have a lot of great guns in the queue right now as well that we will be seeing in 2015. And uh, after SHOT Show, that list is probably going to go way up because there's a lot of guns I'm sure that are going to come out and really catch my eye and catch a lot of your eyes as well. Um, as you guys know, a lot of times I get guns here into review that I otherwise wouldn't just because of audience demand. So um, again, if you guys want guns reviewed here, by all means, let me know and you know do, my, do your part, if you will, and help me out in getting those in by just sharing the channel, you know, share the videos, let your friends who are interested in guns know that they can subscribe, have you guys like my Facebook page, all that stuff shows these companies the power and the reach that these gun channels have, not just my channel, but all of them. So that's really uh, the best way, I suppose, you guys that you could say thanks, uh, is just to get the word out there and uh, get some of these older uh, gun companies away from the uh, Shooting Illustrated type print magazines where they're paying $10,000, $15,000 for an article. When here they don't have to pay anything, I don't charge anything, they can just send me a gun to review and I'll review it and send it back. So um, that's I guess the best thing that that you guys could do to say thanks and uh, by all means let me know. I listen to your feedback so if you guys have stuff that you want seen, let me know. So that's about it guys. Top five greatest guns as I call them. Not my favorite but a combination of the features we uh, talked about earlier so far of 2014. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see other videos like this, let me know. I'll see what I can do. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next video.